Well, your property tax appraisal is directly tied to the amount you'll pay in property taxes at the end of the year. Yeah, that's right. And we really do want to help you out on this in a big way. And our Brittany Begley is digging into residents' questions about property values and how you need to fight them. Brittany, what are you finding out about the process of fighting this? Well, you know, the most interesting thing I learned today is that half the people reviewing your claim are analytical. The other half, they want to see those visuals. So taking pictures can actually lead to more empathy, which could actually help you with your claim. Of course, I think we can all agree we all have questions because it is quite complicated. So we spoke to a first time homeowner to find out his questions about property value and taxes. Home sweet home. It's what Matt Dornaga and his partner have been saying to each other for the last 10 days. We saved for a long time and um, we, were, we were very picky and so um, we're really happy with this. I think we made very few compromises. Now that the boxes are unpacked and the kitchen is picture perfect, it's time to talk about taxes and property value. Actually, I was talking to my husband just the other day and I said, what was the thing that the guy at the title company said that we had to do for taxes? I cannot remember what it's called. I think it was the homestead um, thing. We took Matt's questions to Michael Berlanga, a real estate broker and senior property tax consultant to get answers. You've got over 65 uh, benefits. You have disabled veterans at, at partial to full to uh, say disability and you have the surviving spouses of disabled vets as a homesteader you still have a 10 percent year-to-year cap regardless of whether your house doubles in value and if you own a business your business property can only go up 20 percent for tax purposes it can be doubled in value turns out in this case homestead wouldn't apply if you look around, you see homes that are new construction and homes that look like they've not been renovated since they were built 80 years ago. So it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting sort of uh, area right now. Experts say this does play a role in your property value and you could always see the properties the appraisal district is using by filing a protest. And it really is all about getting to know your neighbors, finding out what makes them upset, what irritates you about your house or your neighborhood, because it really is those questions that you can answer just like that might actually lead to you saving so much, some money. So it's really about accountability and transparency. And of course, we're always looking out for you. KPRC 2 Plus now at 8 o'clock, we are going to take your questions. So if you are like Matt, you have a first time homeowner, or maybe you've owned your house for 50 years and you just have that question that's nagging you or that car dealership that's a little bit too loud. Can you save money? You need to find out those answers. We're going to bring them to you at 8 and you can always go to click2houston.com to get more information on this story and a little more nuggets on how to save money, time and frustration when it comes to property value.